Well, it looks like a good day. It's a little breezy. It's supposed to get really breezy. 68 to 74 is what they're calling for. It's about 8.30 now. You can see that breeze over there on that tree. They claim it's going to be as high as 30. Get some sand in your eyes if you're on a beach. Well, we're off. We're going to Ocean View. Well, first we're going to Eddie's. You know, the firefighter buddy. He's going to... I'm going to take two of those hatches over there with the broken handles on them. See if he can put the handles back in them. And then I'm going to leave his house, which is in Norfolk, not far from Ocean View. Then I'm going to head to Ocean View. And, uh give the cave a spin I talked to Coils to the Soil they got a silver ring out of the cave day before yesterday or Saturday uh, Friday maybe I forget what day it was so there was a little something there it's 1126 uh, right now and they claim 25 to 35 mile hour winds late this afternoon and tomorrow. So, southwest, I think. West southwest. It's going to be blowing. It might be rough as bricks, but it won't be too bad because it's coming from a good direction. We'll have to see how that part goes. We're going by the Wawa now. Let's we'll see what gas is at the Wawa. I got a, oh, it's 179. Hell, it's gone up four cents. While we're on gas, there's been a lot of static about the Outer Banks. Not so much the Outer Banks, but south of the Outer Banks, uh, Moorhead down that area. They got gas down there for 159. That's like 20 or 30 cent higher than Curitiba County Outer Banks area, where the Outer Banks people are. So they're all up in an uproar. Why is it 30 or 40 cent cheaper? You know 40 or 50 miles to the south man there's a big big flap going on about that and in the paper this morning they just uh eased the restrictions to get on the outer banks if you lived in currituck county or let's say if you owned a big fancy home or any kind of home in in currituck county the outer banks kill devil's hill that area corolla And you had North Carolina license on your car, and your address was on your North Carolina driver's license, you could get on out of banks. But if you owned a big fancy home or a cottage or a motor home or anything, and you didn't have your address on your North Carolina license, driver's license, you couldn't get on the island. They had it blocked off both directions. There's a big stink about that too. They had the whole island shut down to, only to residents. Like I said, if you own four, five, six homes there, but you lived in New Jersey or Virginia or Texas, you couldn't get there to see them. You couldn't get on them. You couldn't get in them. You could... <laughs> Man, there's more stuff going on down there. But I guess that was a good thing for them. They didn't want anybody else, just only residents that lived in that area. Okay, I'm done ranting now. I got to go. That's Eddie's house. He built it himself every stick in a buddy of his well let's see how this part works out we haven't been here in two years i don't think stand by it's breezy but it's blowing behind me the tide looks a mite higher and i like it a lot of grass only change I made today is I put the uh, dive boots on because there's a lot of rocks in this area. Man, that don't look very interesting right there. That looks too deep for me. The cave is to my left. Uh, I don't have many blocks. Right good ways. Okay. Well, right along the edge here, you can see I sink right above my boots. Look at that. Ah, that ain't very good. 
some rocks up this way i may have to hunt in this damp zone not that i want to the water ain't quite clear enough to see how deep it is when you drop off but it goes almost up to the midway of the shaft on the uh, equinox on the drop off ah, bummer bummer stand by back her deep again this ought to be a good spot though as long as the waves don't pick up So our first target is a choppy 16. I'm thinking cap. If I got it at all, I see, I see, I, I hear something in the hole still, so I must have missed it. There's rocks right there. Now that we got it now. See no bottle cap. I don't see nothing but rocks. Could be something small too. I guess we'll never know. I saw it at 11 and 12. It only jumps two numbers. I still don't see anything. I do see something, wait a minute. I don't know if that's it or not. Scan over the hole again. Yeah, that's it, all right, whatever that is. 11 and 12. I got a bottle cap, I mean a pull tab. Look, and that just fell away. I got it. That's not what we had though, that's a different sound. That was 14. I think this is 18, if it's anything, you don't fall through. Everything I dug is falling through. I don't see nothing here but rocks. 
I see my buddy Eddie coming. I mean, not Eddie, but uh, Richard, the guy from the mountains. He's coming up behind me. Damn. There, there it is right there. 15 solid. But it fell through. Got it again. I don't see anything. Looks like 15. But it hadn't fallen out yet. Oh, I might see it. I don't know. Yeah, that was probably it. That little black thing. I got a pretty solid four. I don't know what a four could be. I dug a bottle cap finally. Oh, we got it. It says we got it anyway. I see nothing but rock. Give the hole or nothing in the hole sound wise. Sometimes this thing will trick you, you know. Hole rocks. Okay. We're having a rough day. 1819 pretty solid <laughs> It's a little jumpy now though. Got five scoops off of it. It might have it. Oh, gray matter. My first gray matter. I think one ounce of gray matter. Well, we come to the first obstacle. Do we go around from that way? Some water drain pipe, you know, rain, rain runoff. Might be a deep hole at the end with all the rain we've been having. We have to see. Now the cave is about a quarter of a mile past that pipe right there. We haven't got to. I'm not going. I'm, when I get to that pipe, I'm going to turn around. I think I may go a little further. Rich is still behind me somewhere on the other side of that other pipe. We'll catch him in a minute. Well, we got another 18. Maybe it's a gray matter. We got it. No, that's a stainless steel doodad looking thing. Look at that didn't fall through. Goes right through the holes okay though. <laughs> Sheer blind luck right there. You 
You can't tell it because it's behind us, but it's really breezing up. And like I said, it's supposed to blow 30. Gust, gust of 30. Uh oh. 15. Not a very nice 15. 15 nonetheless. Now it's kind of jumpy. I think nothing. You can see there's an outer bar right there where that waves are breaking. See them? Probably about a foot deep right there. Ain't many targets, I know that. Well, we've got a 19. 1920, so it's probably a penny. And we got it. I see nothing. You wouldn't think a 19 or a 20 would fall through. That's like Rocco's. Yep, there it is. Fell through right there. No, it sure as hell is good, John. God. See if we can save it. See what it is. My curiosity is killing me. It might have it. it stays in there. We got it. Nope. Fell up. Ah! I hate that when it happens. There it is again. 19. Stand by. Got a 22 with this one. Seems pretty big in size. Maybe not. I think that was a rock I hit. We might have it. Well, that was a big rock I hit. I don't see no 22 though. No, 
all sorts of turrets around here. Now we've got a solid 14 right next to the 22. As Richard. Stand by, I'll get back to you. Well, I got the 22 out. I don't see the 14 on the 6 anymore. Okay. Now this one I have to go over. I can't go around. It's too far out there. Shallowed up here a little bit. Roots is on a ticket over there. I got a, I ain't got but a couple I got a sink. I just dug a sink and a bottle cap, a little washer, and a piece of stainless or some kind of thing. But I lost a lot of little things, fell through my scoop. Well, you know, I, I, I was hung up with that pipe up there for a long time. Up between those pipes, I'm getting solid, solid 22 to 26s. And then I can move a little bit and it'll go to 35. And that's, no matter what I dig, I never come up with nothing. That's probably deep iron. Ring it up in the 35? Yeah. Yeah. Starting to freeze up some. Yeah, it's supposed to come a rain this afternoon. I know it. I think I'm going to go over the pipe. That'd be the cave. Cavezilla. That's Bowser. Hey, Bowser. Bowser, what are you doing, Bowser? You, Bowser. <laughs> are you making new friends? Come here, Zulu. Solid two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, a ball cap. Nice bottle cap. Fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen. Stand by a minute. There's El Cavo. Uh, clouded up now. It's supposed to rain this afternoon late. But it ain't late yet. This guy's having a hard time with his kite. He's flying in the water. Go 
we'll see how long we had down there for a minute. And we'll get the hell out of here because the weather's deteriorating. Hello, Edmond. I'll see you later, buddy. Edmond's got a good horse to strike. Horses are striking good on Edmond. Look at them. Next year, they'll be big enough to eat. Got a, got a 21 right here beside Edmond. Probably a whooshing penny. Now it's jumped up to 23. Says we got it. Oh, beautiful. Just what I wanted. Just what I was hoping for. Guy's got his kite going. Somewhat. I think he needs a, ooh, a longer tail on it. Look at them clouds. Ooh. Baby. I'm going to go back along the edge of these rocks. Maybe I can dry out a little bit before I get to my truck. Damn, looks like Rich is digging for a Chinaman. What are you looking for, a Chinaman in there? Stick that in there. <laughs> <laughs> Solid twenty three. It's only two inches deep now, you got it. Can. Ah, that's a nice one. Yeah. Who would ever thought? <laughs> the baby's got barnacles growing on them. They've been here. They've been washing around a long time. We can say this wasn't the best spot we've been in lately, but it was okay. Found some good exercise and still getting it. Now it's downhill. Well, I made it home. Got everything washed off. It's a. Uh, it's actually looking a little better. In some places. While <clears throat> while I was at Eddie's, I picked up this uh, this new uh, T-Rex scoop. You remember uh, Gold Digger sent me a new T-Rex six-inch scoop that he just come out with to test. I don't know, two months ago or so. And we had a problem with the lip being way high, catching the sand and holding sand. So I sent it back to them, and uh, they sent me a replacement with the modification. Well, this is the modification. They didn't do much. They just cut a half circle out of the top of that big lip. And Ron told me that on the newer scoops that they're making of the same style, 6-inch, they've folded this lip down flat. So there won't be any lip at all. 
but this ain't much difference for me. This is still up in the air like a, like a wing on an airplane. So I took it to Eddie a month ago when I first got it back. And now we have Frankenrex. Frankenrex. Remember Frank and Explorer? This is Frankenrex. I got Eddie to, Eddie to drill a bunch of holes, six of them, across the top, inside, behind that plate. Some sand will still stick up there, but that bulk of that sand that catches right in here will wash out now, or wash through. I'll put the handle back in it today or tomorrow, and we'll give her a spin. I got an appointment tomorrow at, six, at 10 o'clock in the morning, get my oil changed. That takes, uh, it don't take long to do it, but even if you have an appointment, most of the time it's two hours. So I'll probably be in there, but I might not make low tide tomorrow, but I should. My plan is to make it anyway. Okay, I'll get back to you when I do the roundup. Look what I got out here. I threw one over the roof yesterday, just landed in the front. I have to get that inside. Well, it's starting to come down. Just lightly, but... I just got through with the grass. I cut the back first because I knew I was tight on time. I wasn't sure I was going to be able to get the front. The boys are going for a walk. I don't know if they're going to make it too far. I'm give out. I'm staying home in the recliner. I got to just finished the front with the first first. You ain't, she ain't going nowhere. You ain't going nowhere. It's raining. It's raining hard. Well, the rains came. The rains left. My leader and the animals, they took off again for their little spin. Funny day. It was a good exercise day. That was the best of it, sound-wise, in this ticket. See you tomorrow. I've got to get my oil changed at 10. A 10 o'clock appointment usually takes two hours. So after that, we'll go someplace, weather permitting. Oh, wow. Mexican Tuesday night carryout, like last Tuesday. Chris got the same thing I got last week, shrimp Vera Cruz, and I got the same she, what she got last week, steak and chicken fajita. And a salad. What do you think's in there? Rice. Mm. Stand by. That's a fancy dish right there. Look at them olives. Beans and rice. And a big fat boo-boo. You like shrimp, don't you, boo-boo? He said, I like steak better. I put some rice in mine. Came with rice. Hungry Indians. That's it. See you tomorrow.